Crockett, uh, Sir Gra uh, ahem. King Graham, we have some important addendums that need addressing. <clears throat> you have my attention. Proceed. Yes, well, our new uniforms came in, and Addendum 90210 grants you the executive power over costuming. Which colors do you prefer? Scarlet Sunset or Crimson Colada? Uh, Crimson Colada, for certain. I know the material is more expensive, but the quality speaks for itself. Splendid choice, your majesty. Told you number one. Uh. Next item. How would you like to handle Daventry Decree 867530? 867530? Your daily foot rub. How would you like it handled? Uh, soul healing. Let's start off on the right foot. Hilarious. Your key decisions are already shaping the kingdom for the better. Yay. This is definitely better. Sir, so uh, we recovered the stolen beds. However, goblin sightings are on the rise again. The horde is surfacing in the northwest. How would you like to proceed? Let's seek an audience with their king. Negotiate some common ground. A star shroom pie should do the trick. Excellent strategy, sire. I'll see to it at once. Now then, what are your thoughts on Proclamation 741? I am... How's this pressure, your majesty? Oh, it's wonderful. You heard him, guards. Proclamation 741 passes. Wednesdays are now officially opposite day. Wait, what? I'm not sure I like this. Sire, Kyle and Larry would like to know if they can host their music night in the throne room. Well, I, um... Miss Madeline and her court wish to seek an audience with you. Um, no. Who should we send in first to deal with the gold? Can I wear your crown? Not tonight. Let's reschedule. Whisper and never again. Opposite day. day! Yes means no, and no means yes. Which color did you like again? Red. Which addendum should we enact next? Addendum? Oh, oh goblin strategy seems to be failing. I think. Are we observing ice cream for breakfast day this year? There's been a slight problem with dinner. Care to reorder? The crows have requested the royal steeds wear socks as well. Do you smell syrup? The stress! <laughs> Everyone! I need a moment. Don't know what his problem is. His problem is that he's not King Edward. There's not even bees in here. I'm sorry. I'm going to get some air. But, sire, it's pouring outside. That's fine. I'm going to visit Amaya and let off some steam with the crumbler. As you wish, Your Majesty. Huh. I'm not sure if this hat fits me. Graham, you've got the goods. You just need to relax. By the way, we love the new uniforms. 
Red is such a comfortable colour. Careful out there in the rain. Had to cut budget somewhere. Armor never suited me. Thanks for hiring me, sir. I am proud to be your royal guard number three. I wished I could have saved him. I was tormented about the different choices I could have made, but the outcome was always the same. Looks like Pilar called in sick again. King Goosey! Hey, Wolfie. Hey! <laughs> ah, things are good. <laughs> oh, you look a little under the weather. Here. <sighs> Wolfie wouldn't want your new shiny hat to get rusted. Thanks, Wolfie. I needed a break. Approving addendums is not exactly the adventure I was trained for. But King Edo chose you. Many, many people wanted that hat. Pilar applied like, oh, 17 times. I guess I was born at the right time. I'm just lucky. Luck? Huh. <laughs> but m remember when you recovered all the stolen treasures? And, and remember how you solved that impossible riddle? Oh, 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 and, and that giant beanstalk you scaled? Was that luck? <laughs> Think not. <laughs> well, none of that matters now. The throne leaves me little time for questing. I'm just trying to be half the king. Day, da, da. King Edo wasn't perfect, little buddy. Daventry was a mess when you got it. Whew, Wolfie's back scars, remember? Well, when you have a legacy like that, people tend to forgive your final years. Come on, little goosey. I'll walk you into town. This rain should help this tree grow. Addendum 48677. Hmm, they were right. Oh. Ah! Sorry! 
hearts. <gasps> oh, Gwendolyn, is that you? Come in. I didn't mean to scare you. Grandpa, you're supposed to be resting. So are you. I couldn't sleep. Neither could I. That's a lot of presents for a broken arm. Yes. Well, it certainly wasn't my most graceful tumble, and I am sorry I missed your fencing tournament. There's another one next weekend. I would miss it, even if Kyle has to carry me. <gasps> Are you afraid of the storm, dear? Or your own imagination? No, I'm not afraid of anything. Ah, oh, well, since neither of us can sleep, Want to hear a story about a time when I was definitely not in any way afraid of anything either? Does it have a dragon? It might. <laughs> it was a treacherous evening, just like tonight. As an adventurer, a goblin kidnapping would have been a fun romp. But as a new king, it was terrifying. Who's in charge? I, uh, <clears throat> I demand to speak to your king. No, 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 no. I couldn't see my own hand in front of my face, and I'm not sure I wanted to see anything else down there. What was that? I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh, yuck. It can't be as bad as it smells. Oh. Ouch, Pokey. Gotcha. I shall call you Newton. I was weak. I was exhausted. I just wanted to sleep.
I guess I should try to eat something. I am feeling pretty weak. Is that porridge? Like I felt terrible. I was exhausted and too weak to work that lever. This better not be the chamber pot. I guess I should try to eat something. I instantly felt a bit better, but still far from my normal strength. I was feeling a bit better and needed some rest. Good night, Newton. And good night, Sally. Good night, Finn. Sleep tight, Leapy. Good night, Fuego. Sweet dreams, Freckles. I'm not sure how long I was trapped in that dark room, but I remember the day that everything changed. Hmm. No more porridge? Yes, yes. Not at all. Sorry, 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 sorry. Can't tell you about that. I'm a stupid dog. Yes, he might. Ah! Sorry, I'm a dog. You know it. Bipped up. He got me dog. to do their chores, and I had no choice but to obey. Chores? That's even worse than being locked up. What monsters! I didn't understand the much goblinese, but I think they wanted me to clean up all the webs. Just a bit more strength, and I would be able to do that.
20? Graham? Is that you? Oh, I hope you're here to set us free. I wish. I'm just a goblin errand boy at the moment. Why are you guys down here? Oh, I, I, I'm not sure. No one is sure. The last thing I remember is whipping up a, a pickled ice cream cake for Bramble. Oh, hello, Graham. I'd get up to greet you, but I'm just so sleepy. Oh, you, you get your rest, Honey Muffin. I'll try to keep it down. Graham, Bramble, oh, she's not doing well. She's sick, needs medicine. The porridge was sustaining her, but they stopped feeding us. Yeah, it looks like the supply dried up. <laughs> Wonderful. Just great. Are they trying to starve us out? I swear if I get my hands on those little pieces of... Pinty! Oh, oh, I'm sorry, Buttercup. Uh, go back to sleep. It's just... A fella could lose his compassion down here, you know? If you find any medicine, could you bring it to us? I I'm sure you could use a bite, too. Oh, no. There's enough love on these bones to last quite a while. Thank you. I'll see what I can do. Well, well. Our brave king has arrived. Great to see you, Graham. Amaya? They kidnapped you, too? Kidnapped? No. I followed Wenty's girly scream down here looking for my mattress. I took out about 30 of them before the crumbler ran out of oil. They pounced. Now I'm here. It looks like you got your bed back, at least. Yeah, these little rock brains must think they're hilarious. <laughs> Don't you laugh at me, Pee-wee. You know what you did. So? You ready to bust out of here? Perhaps, with your help. Find me a blade and keep me healthy. A bit more strength, and I would be able to do that. I didn't understand much goblinese, but I think they wanted me to clean up all the webs. I didn't understand much goblinese, but I think they wanted... nesting down here.
Is that you? He's not a boy anymore, Chester. He's a king. King boy? <laughs> that has a nice ring to it. Oh, it does. Huh? Well, how can we help you? Don't you mean how I can help you? Oh, forgive Chester. His blood sugar is low. Uh, got any snacks in that crowd of yours? I wish. Well, if you find some, let us know. We were working on something special to make these roots wilt away, but Chester can't remember the ingredients. Hello, little froggy friend. Mind if I taste your back? Hmm? I'm sure I could make it worth your while. Oh, you better hurry. Chester gets a little weird when he hasn't eaten. Why clean that? It's just gonna get dirty again. Hello. How are you feeling? I could be feeling better. What's the plan? Plan on bringing us food before we dole out any wisdom. Can I take a look around your cell? I don't see why not. Is that a choco nut? We wish. Whatever it was is rotted and hollowed. Is this a prison or a museum? Someone needs to have an intervention with these goblin hoarders. Is this a prison or a museum? What's that stump for? We dug out a hole in it for a makeshift cauldron. We will pick this up later. Good night, sire. What do you want? How's she feeling? She's taken a turn for the worse, I'm afraid. So, what's the plan? Oh, bring us some medicine, please. Can I take a look around your cell? I'm too hungry to deal with your questions. Why would they leave you cooking supplies? <sighs> I'm not sure if we're in the care of prison guards or inept zookeepers. Is that an oven? Well, it could be with some wood. Is that an oven? Well, it could be with some wood. See ya. Your Highness. How are you feeling? Feeling good, but it might not last.
How are you feeling? Feeling good, but it might not last. So, what's the plan? Find me a blade. These pipsqueaks won't stand a chance. Can I take a look around your cell? Ugh, if you must. It is a lovely bed. I have seen so many beds down here. I'm surprised they even remembered which one was mine. That goblin's the fun crusher, isn't he? Yeah, no funny business while it's still around. That goblin's the fun crusher, isn't he? Yeah, no funny business while it's still around. Goodbye. Good night, King Graham. Why clean that? Why clean that? Why clean that? We really should move the store around once we're back. It's impossible to get out from behind the tables. Why would we need to be on the other side? That's a large metal lock guarded the door of that cage. Why clean that? It's just gonna get dirty. Really? I hope you didn't waste it all. Anyone f they instructed me to go to bed after my chores were finished. save them all. It was not important which choice I made, but it was important I made a choice. Hmm, who could that be? Grandfather, it's Gart. Can I come in? Oh, yes, of course. Proceed. <laughs> Having a bit of a nightmare, son. <laughs> nightmare? <laughs> Of course not. Your light was on, and apparently I have a lot to learn from your stories. 
Well, come on in. Take a seat. <sighs> now, where was I? Ah, uh, oh yes. Ah, oh yes, that's right. Shoot, <laughs> my 